Hi guys, hi yummy dummies. Today I'm bringing you a very special recipe. No oven, no cooker, nothing but just a steamer here and I'm making a very easy chocolate truffle cake recipe. Let's get started, okay? For this I have taken uh, 3 whole eggs, you need not separate it, take 3 whole eggs here and to this I am adding 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract and I am gently whisking it, you don't have to uh, whisk it very hard or use a whisker, just gently. To the whisked eggs, I'm adding powdered sugar, about 200 grams I'm taking, or one ball. Now I mix the eggs, vanilla extract and powdered sugar together. Now keep this aside. Now uh, I'm taking 200 grams of refined flour or maida to which I'll be adding salt about half a teaspoon now baking powder 1 teaspoon and uh, baking soda half a teaspoon Now finally add uh, about 30 grams of cocoa powder and mix it well. Now remember guys uh, for a cake mixture we are using equal proportions of maida that's refined flour and equal proportion of sugar that's if you are taking one bowl of uh, sugar one bowl of uh, refined flour. Mix it well together and save it to our mixture. Now sieve our uh, uh, flour mixture into our egg and sugar mix it uh, do not uh, try to whisk it just cut and fold that's the method we use here cut and fold see the mixture it's turned into a lovely chocolate brown and it's yummy yum and smells really good now to this I'm adding one cup of curd which is not so sour if you want you can whisk it but I'm not doing that here again cut and fold to this mixture I'm adding oil here uh, which I'm using a neutral oil you can use coconut oil if you want uh, which gives a very nice flavor or any oil of your cho uh, choice here I'm using about um, 150 ml of oil again mix the mixture to this I'm adding again 150 ml of raw milk you can slightly warm it and bring bring it to your room temperature if you're living in a colder place again cut and fold now the batter for our cake is ready see it should be slightly runny consistency you can see here see this is the consistency we want it should be runny like a dosa batter it should be slightly runny that means it uh, cannot be like the consistency we make for uh, oven cakes it should be runny for steamy okay now grease your uh, cake tin with oil or butter and a very old fashioned here using the old cake mold but there are lots of newer kinds here available in the market or you can uh, what you can use um, butter paper boil water in a steamer and then we'll place a cake uh, for that uh, cooking time is about 30 to 40 minutes it may take up to 45 minutes it depends on the amount you are adding Good. Now pour the cake mixture into the cake tin. Please make sure 
make sure you're not filling more than half because it's going to rise up and tap it twice now place the cake mixture onto the steamer and close the lid wait for 30 to 40 minutes see our first layer is ready then we'll uh, unmold it and steam one more layer see how soft and fluffy they have turned out see very nice see really good consistency I've taken here uh, 150 grams of uh, chocolate shavings. Uh, you can find this in any grocery shop nowadays. And once you shave or grate it, I'm adding cream here. Which is 200 ml. Preferably if you have heavy cream that would be better. This is for the cake frosting and mix it well. So I have mixed both the cream and chocolate shavings. You can use dark chocolate or milk chocolate but I would prefer dark chocolate and as it gives a better color and texture. Now we will double boil it. Now I am double boiling the mixture that is I have kept a vessel underneath in which I have added water. See I have added water here and then on top of that we are keeping the mixture vessel. And keep stirring it because it might get burnt. Into the cream and let it form a smooth paste. Also uh, do not stir it too vigorously because it will form bubbles which will not give a smooth appearance to the frosting. Now we are starting the frosting for which I am adding uh, sugar syrups but you do not have to do that it's clearly optional but I want my cake to be a little soggy that's why I'm adding these so soak your cake in a sugar syrup. Now I'm adding the frosting which we had melted and kept. Once you pour this, keep it in your refrigerator for about 10 to 20 minutes so that it gets a little thickened. Spread it out evenly. Place the second one on top of it see the two layers I didn't have time to refrigerate it so it's still liquid here so we'll I'm going to do it all together both the layers the same 